What's going on guys, it's Panjan here and today I'm going to be bringing you guys the Player Unknown Battlegrounds FPS guide. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys tips and tricks and user settings to be getting the best performance in Battlegrounds you possibly can get. The game might not necessarily look the best it can, but if you want the best performance possible for the best experience possible while the game's still getting updated with performance updates weekly, then this is definitely going to be the best guide for you. If this guide does help, make sure you leave a like in the uh, like section below and make sure you also comment down below with any questions, any uh, things you need answering, if you need any help from anyone, I'm sure someone will help you out if not. I will and uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video. Let's get on to the tutorial. Okay, so starting off, what we're going to be doing is going to your in game options. Go to your options in the top right and then follow the options that you see on screen here. Everything I've got set to is on very low. The screen scale is set to 100%. And if you guys have got a worse PC, I recommend turning this down maybe even to 70, if not around about 80 or 90. But for the most part, you want to keep it on 100%. And to make sure you guys are getting the best FPS possible, make sure screen mode is set to full screen. After all that's done, just hit apply in the bottom right. Moving on to the next step, we're going to be doing the launch options. Right click on Battlegrounds, go to properties, and hit set launch options here. Go into description below low and paste in this. If you're using a much lower end system, use the second one which says for low end. Paste, hit OK, and this part is done. Now we're going to be replacing your config files with the one used below. Make sure you've downloaded the FPS pack, head on into the bottom left of your PC and type percent app data percent. Hit enter, go to app data here at the top, go to local, scroll on down until you see TSL gain, go inside of there, go into saved, config, windows now editor, now inside of here you want to get the three config files I've given you in the FPS pack and you want to drag them in and replace your files just like I do here. Once you guys have finished copying them over make sure you right click on all of them and set them to read only. Check the box there, hit apply and hit OK. Make sure you do that to every single one of them that you've just replaced, all three of them. This makes sure the game can't hard reset your settings when you boot it and it can't force any other graphics options back on. Now we're going to be clearing out your temp file. Head on to the bottom left again, type percent app data percent. Go inside of there, go to app data again, local. Now this time you're going to be scrolling down until you see a folder called TEMP. Go inside of here and highlight every single file and folder from the top to the bottom. Once that's done, just hit the delete key. If it tells you this action can't be completed, check the box there which says do this for all current items. And this means that it will only keep the ones that you're actually using. Years and years and years of data are here depending on how long your operating system has been installed for. And this can sometimes clear up to 10 plus gigabytes of data. Make sure you clean your recycling bin and we're done. Now we're going to be speeding up Windows general performance. Go to the bottom left and type in system and hit enter. Once you're inside of this screen, you need to go to the left hand side of the screen and go to advanced system settings. Once inside of there, go to the Advanced tab. Underneath there you'll find Performance, hit the Settings button. Once inside of here you need to go to the Advanced tab, select Programs and go down to the Paging file. Uncheck the box at the top, select all of your hard drives which you have your games and your operating system on and select No Paging file. Once that's done, hit OK. It'll ask you to restart your PC but just do that later on. Hit Apply, hit OK. Now we're also going to be going back into the performance tab. Hit settings once more and go to visual effects. Windows defaultly sets let Windows choose the best for my computer but I like to go to custom. Turn off every one of these options depending on which you do and don't like. This is personal preference but the more you turn off the better FPS you'll have. This is very minor but if you want the best FPS possible I recommend you turn them all off. Personally I put show thumbnails on instead of uh, icons just for pictures and I hit reply. This makes your text look a lot worse, but if you guys want the best FPS possible, this is definitely the way to go. Inside of here, you can turn this on or off. I haven't done much experimenting with this, but turning off sometimes can possibly help. Hit OK, hit Apply, and then hit OK again. Next, we're going to be removing excess junk and optimizing your system using a program called CCleaner. Installation has been provided in the pack below. Just go into the setup wizard and follow the instructions. Press Install, wait for it to finish, and then hit Run CCleaner. Once inside of here, it's going to ask you to uh, download the latest version. Just hit no because there's no need. Scroll down here to the bottom and hit analyze. This may take some time depending on your system, but wait for this to do. Sometimes when the program is running, it'll ask you to close programs like Google Chrome and your Microsoft Explorer. Just hit OK and wait for the program to finish doing that. If it asks for a force close, just hit yes and you'll be provided with a screen like this. Then just hit run cleaner, hit OK and wait for another pass. And there you have it, the clean is complete. It's removed 251 megabytes. Uh, when I did this about around about a month ago, it removed a couple of gigabytes. So let me know in the comment section below how much it removed for you. Most I've heard about is around about 20. Now hit the registry button and hit scan for issues. 
Inside of here, it's going to find any registry files that might be corrupted and it's going to fix them for you. Hit fix selected issues, press no to back up the save directory and fix selected issues. Once those are done, just hit close and you're completely done with CCleaner. I do recommend that you use this program around about once a month, just in, during some downtime. If you notice some slowdown on some games, it always helps. Now what we're going to be doing is going to be removing excess Windows startup files. What you want to be doing is going down to your taskbar at the bottom, opening up task manager and going to the startup tab. Inside of here, I want you guys to disable just by clicking and hitting the disable button in the bottom right, any program or any utility that you do not want opening when you first restart your PC. So for instance, Twitch, Razer Synapse, Origin, I don't want these things opening on their own. I don't want a massive cluttered startup which just slows down. I turn off all these things, which means I can then go and manually open them if I want them open once my PC is restarted. Now, another thing you guys do for a minuscule increase in FPS is setting a solid background color for a desktop image rather than image or a video. Do this by right clicking anywhere on the desktop, hit personalize, go hit solid color and select any from the windows menu right here. This will have a very minuscule increase in FPS, run about 1%, but it just gets those numbers up. Now we're going to be optimizing windows drives. You can do this by going into the bottom left and typing this PC. Inside of here, you need to scroll down until you see all of your hard drives and SSDs. For me, I've got my operating system running on my C drive, and we're going to do this one first. Hit Properties and go down to the Disk Cleanup under General. Click on that and wait for it to do its thing. Once it's finished calculating, it's going to give you something like this, and there could be more boxes here, there could be a more, a more file size, it doesn't necessarily matter. Check all the boxes, go down to the bottom and press OK. It will ask you if you want to permanently delete these files, let it do that and let the program do its work. Now, if you guys are using an SSD, that's you done right there. If you guys have also got a hard drive or you're mainly using hard drives, you can also go and hit properties and go to the tools tab. I recommend also running the disk cleanup on any hard drives you do have just to make sure they're decluttered. Then what you want to be doing if you have a hard drive is you want to go into the error checking. Scan for error checking. This could take a while depending on how fast or how slow your hard drive is and depending on how cluttered it is. But let it do its pass and let it see if it comes up with any problems because it will fix them. And as you can see, this hard drive was in the clear. It said that drive was successfully scanned and there were no issues found. Now we're going to be going into the optimize and defragment. Again, if you have an SSD, you do not want to be doing this step. You only want to be doing this step on any hard drives you have. Select hard drives and hit the analyze button. It will say if you've got any fragmented, if you do, what you want to be doing is highlighting them and hitting the optimize button. This can take a long time, so I recommend you guys either go out, get yourself something to eat or drink, or go to bed and leave this on overnight doing this, because depending on how cluttered your hard drive is and how slow it is, this can take several hours, but it's definitely worth doing it. So just hit the optimize button and leave Windows to do its thing. Next, we're going into your Windows Power Options. Do this by searching Power Options in the bottom left and pressing Enter. Go inside of here and go into the Change Advanced Options. Select this option here. And inside of here, you want to be going into the hard disk, turn off hard disk after, and set that to zero. Once that's done, hit apply. This basically means that your hard drives never go to sleep. Sounds relatively scary, but no one's ever had a hard drive fail over this, and it just makes sure that your PC system is always running as fast as it possibly can. Now we're going to be running a sweep of Windows Defender. This is Windows 10's built-in antivirus. I don't recommend using any other antivirus besides this one because it's very lightweight and it's built into Windows itself. Search Windows Defender in the bottom left, select a quick scan and hit scan now. Now again, this could take a lot longer. I'm running this on an SSD, so this is why it's that fast. But if you guys have got a slow hard drive, then it's probably going to take a little while again. Just take yourself up to the toilet, go do whatever you need to go and do and come back to your system and you will be prompted with the information from your virus scan. If it tells you it has any problems, it will fix them for you. If not, you'll be presented with the screen I'm about to get here. Now another vital way about getting the best FPS you possibly can in the latest titles is keeping your graphics card drivers up to date. Head on to the description below and I've linked both Radeon and Nvidia's graphics card driver sites. Inside of here, I'm going to show you how I download mine. I've got the GeForce card, it's a 900 series. I've got the GTX 970, my operating system is Windows 10 64 bit, and I'm going to hit start search. If you guys have AMD, it's going to be very similar to this, just follow it on AMD site. And as you can see here, Thursday the April 6th, I've got a driver here I can download and install, hit agree and download, and it's going to be downloading this file here. Radeon will also be similar to this, once this file is done, just hit open and follow the prompt that it gives you in the installer. Once that's done, just delete the file it downloaded. Now, NVIDIA graphics card options. AMD's are similar to this, so copy as many as you possibly can. Open up NVIDIA control panel by right clicking on the desktop and go to this screen here. Select the use advanced 3D settings and hit the take me there button. Inside of here, I want you guys to be able to pause this video and copy every single setting you possibly have that matches mine. If you have any of these settings here, make sure they're set to the ones that you have on screen here. The two most vital ones are multi-display slash GPU acceleration mode, set to single display. 
and power management mode. Make sure those are both set to prefer maximum performance. Those are the two most vital ones. The other ones don't particularly matter, but make sure you copy them. And then what you want to be doing once you've done all of that, just make sure, you, again, pause the video if you guys can't follow along quick enough and you need time to select all these options, is just hit the apply button in the bottom right. Now, if you guys have been noticing your games have been slowing down a hell of a lot recently, it's probably because of out of date drivers. Now, this program I'm about to show you right here called Driver Booster, an installation is included in the pack below. Just run the Driver Booster setup and go through the prompt. And once it's installed, you want to open up the program. This program will download and install the latest drivers for all of your hardware and your PC for you. Open up the program and it will prompt you with a scan. This might take a little bit longer than one on uh, my screen, but once it's done, you'll be prompted with a screen like this. Now, once inside of the program, you're probably gonna be prompted with more drivers than I have. All you have to do is just make sure they're all highlighted there on the left and hit the update now button. This will go through and install all of them for you. Again, this could take some time because that's to download and install every single driver. And I recommend doing this when you have some free time after watching this video, whether it be overnight or if you need to go out or if you can leave your PC for maybe an hour or so. If you run the hard drive, defragment with this then you guys should be set overnight or when you get some free time I recommend running the two at the same time but once that's done once that's cleared off I guarantee any PC issues you might be having are going to be solved. Another extremely helpful program in getting FPS on almost any game including Battlegrounds is Razer Cortex. I'm going to leave a link in the description below so you can head onto Razer website if you want to grab it. Just install Cortex Sign up for an account, and once you're inside of here, go to the Game Booster. Again, this is optional, but I definitely recommend it. You want to go into the tweak and hit Boost, and you also want to be doing the Defragment. These things take time, but if you don't want to be doing those options, the main one we want to focus on here is in the middle, the Boost option. Hit boost before you go and play any game and I guarantee you'll see a significant increase. It turns off unnecessary services and it frees up RAM being utilized by programs that you are not using. It makes sure that the game can use as many resources as it possibly can and I guarantee you'll see a significant FPS increase whilst using this program. Now one last thing which is almost one of the most important steps is the timer resolution program. Run this as administrator and it's going to look like a very extremely weird program. What you want to be doing is setting max, set that to maximum, boot any game of your choice, leave it running in the background just minimize it make sure you don't close it and then once you're done playing you hit default this basically speeds up the windows timer to make sure that programs can utilize windows code as fast as they want and they're not limited in doing so this means if you're getting any frame stutter or any delay and response time issues it's going to eliminate them completely it's a definitely vital program in getting the most smoothest experience you possibly can out of games and i always use it just make sure you close out of it once you're done and set it back to default and just run it with any game out there and there you guys have it. Next time you go and boot your game, I guarantee you'll see a significant increase in your FPS. If you do, let me know in the comment section below what you were and what you went from. And also, if you're having any questions or you want to ask me about anything or you're having any issues, let me know. Or if any friends are, let me know in the comment section below and I or someone from this lovely community will also get back to you. And that's pretty much it, guys. Again, it's not the prettiest looking thing. Resolution is still the same. Textures might be a little bit lower, but the game runs a hell of a lot smoother. The response time is a hell of a lot better and it's a more enjoyable more enjoyable experience for me and the other people that I've shown this FPS guide with so far. Again, if you have any friends that play this game who might be getting low FPS and you want to show this guide to them, that would be deeply appreciated if you guys can link in this video, share it with them, hopefully get their game working, give them a much better experience and get everyone on the same level playing field on Battlegrounds, no matter what your system is like. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like down below. Also, subscribe to the channel if you guys are looking for more FPS guides on future games and the rest of my content. And thank you very much for watching, guys. Again, comment section below for any questions. Feel free to share this video with friends. It will be deeply appreciated. And if you also leave a like, that would make my day. Thank you very much for watching, guys. This has been Pangino, and I am out.